can't believe it. I'm on Adam Savage's Tested. Check it out. Adam here from Tested in my cave next to my friend Ben Eady, maker, engineer, and chainmail enthusiast. This is not something yes. I knew about you. Okay, so here's the skinny, is if you check out the links below, you're gonna find the link to Adam Savage's Tested where we deal with the chainmail that I'm about to show you and how to paint it. Adam took a look at it, really likes it, and well, we've done a little bit of painting on it and he shows us the technique that he would use to paint it and I'm using now. The foam mail that I had up in YouTube and on Thingiverse recently did exceptionally well. Now I've spent some time developing it and it has changed. So now we've got a 2.0 version. I'm really happy with how it goes together and what you can build with it. So what we're gonna do is show you how to make a bow tie. This show might not be suitable for all audience members. There will be moments of full frontal nerdity. Okay, so like, let's just cut to the chase. Let's jump in on how to make some of this stuff and the new pattern that I currently have. Here's the deal, is this is an eight and a half by 11 sheet and it's got my foam mail pattern in this. Here's some cutout pieces, but we're gonna start from scratch and show everybody how you can deal with the pattern that you will find online and also the pattern that you will be able to buy from me shortly. I mentioned I'm gonna be starting foamarmory.com. Go check out the website, sign up for our newsletter, and make sure that you can get in there fast so that when we have some of this stuff for sale, you'll be able to go in and get it. Sheets like this will come as is, and you will find that each one has these little tiny tabs like this. So what I have found is one of the fastest ways to deal with it is to come in with an X-Acto knife, you just have to nick the pieces that are attached. One thing you can do is hand rip them apart um, and peel it off any way that you want to do it. So once we've nicked all those pieces, you'll find that you can grab it and pull a piece out just like that. Here is what is new about my chain mail. The last stuff was just this sort of zigzag. Part of the zigzag, would it stretched out a little too easy. So adding a closed loop up here, helps keep the structure and make it a little stronger. And also the way the bottom loop is set up that let's say these come in 22 um, whole lengths along here, but let's say that you wanted to do one that happens to be, you know, 20. So what you can do is also get your knife out or you can pinch these off as you come in and you just nick that guy there. And now you have a length that's 20 and it looks exactly the same as any other piece that you currently have. There's an, a two piece and you can go on and on and on. So we want to make a piece that looks like this, about yay big, that we can scrunch up and turn into a bow tie. Now, this one here is a little small, but that's okay. We're just gonna make it a little wider. And now we want a bunch of pieces about the same length and you can visually come in and make as many as you need. And in this case, we are going to make seven of them. So now we have seven pieces that are 10 long. Number six, crochet needle. Super, super, super handy. You will find links to all this stuff down below, minus the chain mail. The chain mail will be up for sale again shortly, but currently it is not, as we are trying to ramp up manufacturing and figure out exactly how to get the stuff to you. In the meantime, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this piece here, we're gonna join this piece to it. Crochet needle up through one hole, pull the hole from the other guy in there through, just like that, and carry on. Now, just so you have a good idea, I had my buddy Dave, who makes chainmail, do a little video of, for me of doing some chainmail. And what you're gonna notice is how much time it takes him to deal with one loop versus how much time it takes for me to deal with one loop. And they are so far apart, it's not even funny. This is a very efficient way, fast way to make some chain mail that isn't super heavy, isn't super expensive, won't hurt your hands in the end while you're trying to make it, all sorts of different stuff like that. You'll notice that this stuff because of the way it is, because of the way EVA foam is, is it kind of wants to curl up. So get one of these little mini heat guns or heat tool. Um, again, the link will be down below. It's just, it blast it with a little bit of heat, it'll lay flat and then move on. You can do three or four rows together and then do that, but I find it works just as well this way.
There we go. Now it's laying flat exactly the way we want it to. And we just carry on. And sometimes you're gonna find it's a little bit of a struggle to pop it through, just wiggle it through. And keep in mind as well, this is EVA foam and it's tiny little strips of EVA foam. It's not super strong, nor was it ever designed to be super strong, but I'm gonna show you some ways to reinforce it. Like I was saying just a second ago is that it's not necessarily that strong and because it's EVA foam, it will tear apart. However, what you can do is you can get some stuff called um, flex bond. Now flex bond's hard to buy in anything but like gallon sizes. I went to the dollar store and one thing that you need to do is you need to look for glue, white glue that's called tacky glue. And you'll also notice in the label somewhere, it will say that it remains flexible when dry. So that's the same stuff as flex bond. And what I do is I take this stuff and I water it down to about milk consistency and I painted on this stuff. And suddenly you know, notice that this stuff becomes a lot tougher than what you see here. So one thing you'll notice is that I have a piece that's too long in here. Get a pair of like, I don't know, needle nose scissors. I'm not sure exactly what they're called, but you can come in there and use that just to nip that one leg off and you're good as gold. Hey, you know what? Here's one thing we'll do is we'll start using up some of the scraps that I have. So let's just say that this happens to be a chunk of scrap. You got a piece that you want to use. So we're going to weave that one in and this will show you how to join two pieces that are shorter together. Okay, so now we have this guy here, but we want to continue on with another piece. So what I've done in the past is, is I'll just continue weaving with another chunk, but I will bring it up through the same hole of the last piece that I just did. And now you just have a little bit of an overlap, but you'll see here when I get into the next row, you can make that extra piece disappear really quickly. Okay, so we've come to the end there. And we'll come in here and we'll nip that guy out just like that. And now we have a piece with the extension in it. Okay, so here is that double piece right there. Now when I'm gonna weave in, I'm gonna push the one piece, the back piece back. I'm just gonna come up through the one hole, and grab the piece and bring it through, and then carry on the way I normally would have. Fold that other piece back into the one spot that it was occupying. Can you see where that splice is? It's right there. So let's just bring it over. You can't see where my finger is right in there. You can't see where that splice is. So when you do the splices like that, you can hide it very quickly. And there you go. Now you have the foundation for your bow tie. We need to have some strips and the strips need to come in and around the outside. It's not fully necessary to have these, but I think it finishes the piece off really nicely. And you can come in with a ruler and make a, I don't know, two or three millimeter wide strip out of the foam that you cut the chain mail out of. You can use whichever stitch pattern you want. You want to come in and out all the way. I prefer just coming in from the top on all of these. I think it gives it a, a neat look by doing it this way. If any of you are interested in just a bow tie kit, just one sheet, I'm thinking I could probably make them for about 10 bucks, give you everything that you need to to use to make one of these. Um, let me know in the comments below. Oh, speaking of cosplay, I've had a couple people use this in their costumes. b &H Cosplay, who happened to be interviewed by Adam actually just recently at a Comic-Con, but looks amazing. Also, Shop Costume Biz, and it's Bryn Tarr. Bryn Tarr has also used it. So, Anyways, we are at this point. Now, how do we deal with these ends? You don't want them loose like that, and that's fine. I was kind of looking at this here, and I'm starting to think that maybe it was a little bit on the short side. This will make a cute little bow, maybe for a lady's hair. Um, maybe you want to go maybe 12 long to actually make a bow tie like the one I currently have on. Anyways, we're going to hit that with CA glue, and we're just going to give it a little press. And we're going to join each of these corners. Final thing is, is that we need something to kind of squish in the middle. So what we'll do is we'll just give this a little bit of a bow tie fold like that. And we'll wrap this guy around. Just another strip of EVA foam and we'll wrap it around like that. 
you can also get some leather or something like that and be able to create stuff that way. In the meantime, what I found is, is it, you're gonna have to check the Adams video on how to paint it. If you paint it first before you squish it up like this, it seems to work a little better. Add a little bit of CA glue. Come around like this. And there's no reason why you can't paint it when it's in this form. I just find that it's easier to paint the sort of the square once you've made it. And there you go, chainmail bow tie. I think a lot of people need to be wearing one of these. I think we all need to start a new fashion trend called armor punk. There you go, that is basically how to make a bow tie. Super quick, super simple, and it is really easy and super light. Um, this would make like a great little hair bow for, for a girl. Um, we can also make bow ties like this, um, all sorts of different things. Stay tuned next week. We will be doing another little chainmail tutorial and hopefully by next week we will have some product up for sale. So go check out foamarmory.com, sign up to our newsletter and we will be chatting with you later. So the time that I spent at Adam's Cave was amazing. Norm was more than accommodating. Adam is like every ounce the nerd, the geek that you see on screen. You just can't get enough of him. He's the kind of guy that you sit next to and you just get excited even if they're not saying anything because they just got that much energy. Could not thank you enough for such a great trip out there and being able to hang out and help you guys build some stuff was a complete blast and just wanted to say thank you guys. I really, really appreciate it. So make sure that you check out the Tested channel down below. Um, you'll be able to find the link there and also go to tested.com. Last thing is, is don't forget to go to foamarmory.com and hit subscribe to this channel. It'll be much appreciated and I will be talking with you guys shortly with a ton of new projects. Stay tuned!